I'm back in my studio and I am designing after about a few weeks being off because it was the holidays. It's been about three weeks since I've actually been in here really hands on. And it always is a, there's like a momentum that builds, right? Cause you had these ideas. I had these ideas while I was gone and what I was gonna do and getting excited. And then when you walk, when I walk in here, I'm a little overwhelmed. I'm seeing a little bit, some things that aren't done. I'm getting ready for one of the girls that does all the hand sewing for me will be here tomorrow. So she's awesome. She does a beautiful job. And what I normally do is I pin the pieces together the way I like them and then she hand stitches them together. So one of my ideas, I used a lot of the sleeves off these vintage sequin pieces for the rock t-shirts, which I think I did a video on, but I thought I had this idea to do, I'm gonna pull this over so you can see it. So I had this idea, I was thinking, you know, girls, these hot little girls in Miami, you know, we all want sequins, right? So my idea was to do this sort of piece that came right underneath the bra line. And you know what? I just recommend just get in there and cut. Don't hold back. I mean, okay, if this was $600 a yard, I, you know, I would have a better plan here. But what I've learned mostly from being a designer is... And, and being the type of designer that I am, is that it actually, uh, sometimes there's magic in the mistakes. So it's okay to make a mistake. Okay, so I'm kind of feeling like this length, all right? But then what I thought would make it more me, first of all, is I'm gonna have to cut this seam, but I was thinking it'd be really great if the back was different than the front, like if I mix these up so they were completely different. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this other piece prepared so you can see it. Um, I think I'm gonna use, well, I don't know what I'm gonna use yet. Hold on a sec. Well, first off, I am actually cutting it at the seams because I know I want the back piece to be, you know, to, to be pretty much the same as the front piece. So I'm cutting these at the seams. They don't need to be on there to do that. Because then I will know that the, pa the back piece I need should be about the same size as, let's see, the front piece. Now again, since I'm gonna hand stitch these, and I have to hand stitch these because they actually, um, it don't break the needle. So I have two front pieces and like this and then this is the back piece and i'll use this on another front piece because i think that will make it interesting so let me find the front piece the back piece for this piece well i kind of pivoted because i found this piece that i'm going to use as the front and i'm going to use this as the back now when you cut these there's a thick seam here which basically keeps you know it's part of the lining all right so there's a decision you can make you can make a decision at this point if you want it lined or not now in this choice in this decision I'm making especially because we're going into spring and this is more of a spring piece I'm deciding to not have it lined so I'm cutting see how this is kept together because of the way they made it. They they attached all the oh this one has a dart. That's too bad. So when you when you run into this kind of thing, you're just you just make it work, right? Make it work. How do you make it work? You know, a lot of creativity, a lot of the magic of creativity happens in the process. And that's what's missing in fast fashion. Because fast fashion has no there's no real, um, you know, it's already been done. So there I go, I cut that out. And then I'm gonna, I'm deciding on this. So this is it without, this is gonna be it without the um, lining. So it's not that sheer, but you know, you can still see it and then your, you know, the skin and this is it with the lining. So because it, like I said, it's summer coming and 
I like the idea of sheer. I really like the idea of, because my client that isn't gonna show her stomach will wear this over a t-shirt. So it, it's okay that it's gonna be um, unlined. So stay tuned. So I have all the lining out and I like to pin it so I can see it on the mannequin. Now, okay, I am self-taught designer, all right? So I'll bring this closer so you can see. I am not, I, I really think I'm an artist. I, I think that I'm an artist and I make clay, clothing, that's my art form. Because for me to measure everything out and to take all that time makes me crazy. Like I'd rather be sitting here and you can see this is not perfect by any means. Okay, so what am I gonna do? Well, I just always say that's okay. Well, I, that's why I like to see it pinned on a body form because maybe if this was lying down, it would look more perfect than it than it is because it's actually not perfect. So then I'm gonna take this. So this is the back. I, I thought this was as wide as this. I was wrong. All right, so I'm gonna take this and you know, we need a sleeve, but one of my ideas before was to maybe do it like this, which would bring that up there. Yeah, so see this idea that kind of was running through my mind is actually, going to be how I go. So, but I know because I know how to sew that this will make my assistant crazy because she won't know, you know, how, where, you know, how this goes. So, so the best thing to do so that she doesn't have questions and so that we can move at a, at a reasonable pace is to uh, pin it so, so to avoid her having to come to me to make questions. So basically I'm making sure all the seams line up and whoops, no, I just messed that up. So, but the way these pieces come out, like a little mess up is not the end of the world because sometimes they actually make, you know, they add to the pieces because they make them more unique. So, Again, on this side, I'm just going to make, oops, just going to make sure I have it pinned properly for her. And I do. And then like I did on the other side, I'm going to cut this sleeve to match the other side. And, you know, after you have practice in doing this, you, you, your eye, it's interesting how your eye just gets trained and you start to just see what's off and where you need to go with it. Now, is that a hundred percent all the time? No, but a lot of the time it is. Okay. So you can see the front here, it's still a little uneven, but like, look how cute this is with the back like this. And this is sheer. And so I'm basically going to have her, I'm going to have her whip stitch it with this color all the way around and I'll show you the results in a minute. So here is my beautiful boutique, by the way. And here is that piece. My vision is kind of that, yes, I would like to wear it over, kind of as a little bolero type. You can see we did the hot pink stitching and the back is here. So I like the way it came out. I'm gonna do more of these for spring love it i want to see yours do one for me and send it to me so i can see what it looks like how you did